Good morning, Indian Creek. At this time, please take a moment of silence to reflect on the anticipated activities of the day. Thank you so much. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, once again, good Wednesday morning. It is a football Wednesday morning. It is also the uh, Wednesday, September the 29th, and here are your announcements. All right, so first of all, today is an A day, okay? So you should be attending your um, second, fourth, and sixth period connections classes today, second, fourth, and sixth. Please be reminded that there are safety protocols in place. This is for everybody, teachers and students and staff alike. Masks are mandatory at all times while you are in the building, unless you're eating or drinking. Um, I don't know how many more times we have to emphasize that. Okay, everybody in the building should be wearing a mask all the time, unless you're eating or drinking. Please keep your distance as much as possible and then wash or sanitize your hands as often as you can. Let's do our part to keep each other safe. Remember that anybody who arrives after nine o'clock, make sure that you are checking in in the front office. That's important because we wanna give you credit for being here. You're working hard, you might as well get credit for it. We don't want you being marked absent. So make sure that you come to the office to get a pass, whether you're a car rider or a bus rider so that you can give that to your teacher when you go into class. Once again, come up no matter what. As we're all aware, the pandemic has really placed a tremendous economic stress on our community. Uh, that's why it's more important than ever that we continue our traditional fall canathon. All right, so the canathon began, began last Monday and uh, we have some, um, we have a lack of goods, let's put it that way. So let's make sure that before next Thursday that we are participating in this largest food drive of, in the county. Uh, it's critical that we ensure that the area food pantries have plenty in stock for the upcoming holiday season. You know, they're all, we're looking for canned goods always, uh, but we're also looking for box non-perishable food like pasta and rice and things like that. So please plan to participate in this event. Uh, the boxes will be placed in the front lobby to collect the items. We're still waiting on those from the board office. Uh, our goal this year is about 10,000 items uh, or that, about 10 cans per student, okay? Uh, cans or pasta or whatever. So let's fill up several boxes for our community and be Panther strong. Now we will be, uh, there will be a prize for the um home rooms that have the, the largest number of goods donated, okay? So please be aware of that. Um, uh, let's see, every can that you bring in up to nine cans, you'll receive a dollar Creek cash, first of all, uh, 10 to 15 cans and you'll receive $20 worth of Creek cash. And then the student that brings in the most cans will receive $100 of Creek cash. Uh, a pizza, drinks, and two chocolate bars to split with a friend. That is the latest information that I have. So bring in those canned goods, everybody. All right, ICMS yearbook staff, I'd like to invite you to participate in this year's yearbook cover art contest, uh, making sure that you are following the theme, unlocking positivity of ICMS. Um, some things to consider when creating your design, the Panther Perfect Locker. Uh, what, what would that look like? Overflowing with things, uh, ICMS and Panther Nation to celebrate our 25th anniversary edition. Remember, uh, if you have questions, stop by C2, Ms. Standen, the yearbook advisor, but the deadline for all entries is four o'clock today. That's right, four o'clock today. Good luck and be creative. 
So are you interested in becoming a sports broadcaster in the future or learning how to stream video online? Well, then you should become part of the ICMS Creek TV crew. To be considered, please complete the form at tinyurl.com ICMS Creek TV crew, or you can scan this particular QR code right now, okay? So once again, you can go to tinyurl.com slash ICMS Creek TV crew, C-R-E-W, all one word, ICMS Creek TV crew. So tinyurl.com slash ICMS Creek TV crew, or scan this QR code and that'll get you to the um, page that has the information to complete. All right. Now, um, complete the form and uh, we will get in touch with you. Now, boys and girls, if you're going to try out for basketball, you must have a current physical on file in the front office by Friday, October the 15th. Tryouts are going to begin Monday, October 18th, and the first game is November 11th. Last night, the softball team was gifted a victory when Edwards forfeited at the last minute. Um, the softball team returns to action tomorrow evening in their final home game of the season versus a 2-5 and five Clements Club. The ladies have already secured a spot in the league tournament semifinal game where they'll play veterans on Saturday morning at 1130 right here at the Creek. Well done, ladies. Uh, tickets will be available on GoFan for $6 for each of the tournament games this weekend. The football team is going to travel to Rockdale High School today uh, when they will play where they will play Conyers at five o'clock. All right. At this time, I would ask that all of you join me in reciting the Panther promise. I will be respectful, I will be responsible, and I'll be a positive role model. That'll conclude our announcements for today, everybody. I ask that you please adhere to the safety protocols and wear your masks the way they should be worn over your nose and mouth. Thank you all for your attention this morning, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow morning on Creek TV. Have a great day, everyone.